5,000 subscribers. It's a number I never imagined reaching when I started releasing dedicated retro gaming content. I remember having a conversation with my wife around two years ago where I told her I thought the channel had a ceiling of around 2,000 subs. It appears I was wrong. To each and every one of you who support this channel, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Creating content to share with the broader community has become a dedicated hobby of mine. With the positive reception I receive month in and month out, I remain excited to share my passion for video games, the exploration of historical topics, and video creation. As you grow a channel, you realize a few things. First off, YouTube doesn't really help the small guy unless it's by luck. A number of my videos have been 100% dependent on notifications being sent out to my subscribers, ending up in favorable search results, or off-site promotion done by viewers who pass the videos along in forums and to their friends. This brings me to my next point, which is dedicated viewers and creators helping to promote content they love. For channels under 1,000 subs, this is absolutely critical in reaching that first milestone. I've personally received my fair share of support in this department, and for that, I'm grateful. I've also done quite a bit to support channels behind the scenes, as do many others. It's an unfortunate truth that a lack of exposure and growth will oftentimes kill a creator's passion to continue on with their show. After all, anyone who creates videos to share on YouTube would be lying if they said it was only for them. I mean, what's the point of writing a song, developing a game, or creating something amazing if there's no one to appreciate or share your accomplishments with? For me, my show is about pursuing personal passions and sharing them with people around the world in an effort to make connections. And you know what? It's been an amazing journey so far. So in an effort to give back what I can, I've decided to do something a little different to celebrate passing the 5,000 subscriber mark. In a sea of what feels like an overwhelming amount of low substance repeat topic and unoriginal trash being recommended by YouTube, personal recommendations are oftentimes the only way to discover something new and worthy of a lazy Saturday afternoon. With that said, I'm going to present 10 channels under 5k subs that I feel viewers of my channel will also enjoy. Channels with a particular focus on retro and independent gaming content that present videos I believe would have a wider audience if only the right exposure came their way. I'll leave links in the description box, so be sure to stop by and check them out. If you enjoy them as I have, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and be sure to drop a comment. One last thing before I get started, there are a ton of great small YouTube channels out there. So if you know one or happen to have one, leave a comment below, tell me a bit about it. I'll try to stop by and visit everyone who does. This is Retro Impressions, 10 amazing gaming YouTubers under 5K subs. Chris Chapman, Retrospectives and Deep Dive Video Essays, Current Sub Count 2828. There are a number of channels I absolutely adore, but none I feel a professional kinship to more so than Chris Chapman. As Chris lives on the other side of the pond, he oftentimes covers topics I'm unfamiliar with, using a presentation and polish that's rarely seen as most other channels rush to release content that echoes what fills the recommended page. Chris is methodical in his research and presentation, creating videos seeped in passion and intrigue. He has a brilliant editing style, giving everything he does a unique feeling, and knows how to weave a great story. With videos like The Rise and Fall of Might and Magic and The Secret of Vulcan Fury, you can't go wrong with his retro history series. Honestly, this is one of my favorite channels on all of YouTube, so make sure you spend some time checking out his deep back catalog. Vince19, Statistics Based Analysis of Gaming History Current sub count, 1,204. Imagine if someone with a background in statistical analysis created a channel utilizing their skills to look at the numbers behind a variety of game-related topics. This is exactly what Vince19 is. His series, Statistically Hidden Gems, along with a number of statistically driven looks at specific systems, eras, and game genres make this one of the most original channels out there. Pick a topic that sounds interesting and start from there. I promise it's worth your time. Dr. Nerd, short documentaries and technical advice. Current sub count, 233. 
Dr. Nerd's low sub count is rather shocking at first glance, but a true representation of how hard it is for channels that deserve views to make a connection with those who might be interested. Dan's videos are well shot, well scripted, and most important, they're informative. From his History of Handheld series to his must-see episodes aimed at helping other creators improve their content without breaking the bank, Dan's quality is absurdly good and by golly, he's really darn likable. I recommend starting with the Game Boy Story and working your way through his back catalog from there. Mastercast TV Game reviews with a particular focus on Sega and Atari Jaguar. Current sub count, 2,405. If I had to use one word to describe Andrew of Mastercast TV, it would be unapologetic. There might not be another person on this platform whose opinion I value more when it comes to reviews because he sugarcoats nothing. If you want unapologetic, intelligent, but mature reviews, Mastercast TV is that show. Did I mention this guy games because he's dead serious about it and has the deepest back catalog of reviews I've ever seen. There's no 10 minute preview of a game being passed off as a legitimate review either. These aren't trash. Andrew spends a sizable amount of time with a game before presenting his thoughts, something that sadly doesn't always happen. These are high quality, old fashioned game reviews you can trust, so be sure to check them out. Kim Chika, Indie Game Reviews, Previews, and Playthroughs. Current sub count, 1,326. It's impossible for me to have a list and not include Kim Chika. She's one of the three people I depend on to learn about new and upcoming games, specifically the ones that are oftentimes passed over by the mainstream media. In fact, her channel is strictly dedicated to indie game coverage, and she does an incredible job of conveying her passion for these games and the people who love them. She's also an Oregonian like myself, but that didn't influence the decision to include her here. Her series Indie Watch is a must-see show that covers five games up for release that month worth keeping an eye on. If you enjoy indie games like I do, Kim Chika is an incredible resource that you need to be subscribed to. Sika's Retro Corner – Game Reviews and Short Documentaries Current sub count 3,186 If you're watching this, there's a good chance you already know my friend Sika. His incredible sense of humor and passion for video games give his show a unique flair amongst the rather flat and sometimes soulless presentation found in many mainstream and mainstream emulating channels. Being from Portugal gives him a viewpoint different from the status quo of expectation. Combine all this together and you get classics such as his video on how the game Wonder Boy was changed for Brazil, the history of Cafe Paradise, the Hugo Troll game show, and the absolutely must watch Best Golden Axe Ever Made. I know humor is subjective, but Stika makes me laugh with every video, making my day just a bit brighter whenever I watch something he releases. The Playing Field Video Game Level Design Analysis Current sub count 2,364 Jared's The Playing Field is a look at level design by someone who was fascinated enough by the subject that he now designs levels for a living. It's an incredibly unique channel that takes massive deep dives into a subject that very few individuals can honestly say they have the background to discuss. As someone who loves games but makes a living in a field not remotely connected to them, saying this series is eye-opening might be an understatement. While most of the videos are long, even by the standard my own channel sets as normal, Jared keeps the viewer engaged with ease. A great example would be his two hour long breakdown of two different levels from Prey. I've never played the game, nor did I have any knowledge of it before watching this video. I can't even say I want to play after watching the video, but they were so fascinating, I couldn't stop consuming the incredible examination given to a game I didn't really care about in a way that has no equal on all of YouTube. I don't want to gush anymore, so I'll move on after saying this. The only YouTube channel that even comes close is Game Hut. If you like that channel, it's 100% guaranteed you'll fall in love with the playing field, so make sure you check it out. Comrade Jared Reviews and Video Game Related Commentary Current sub count 162 I'm not sure what's going on here, but Comrade Jared is another channel that proves how hard it is to gain traction when starting something new. His video and audio quality are top notch. His presentation is simple, extremely well presented, and thought out. 
From a personal perspective, I really enjoy his reviews and commentary on different gaming subjects. I live way out in the country, so the only people I know who share my interest are those I've met via retro impressions. Of those people, none make videos discussing their feelings or opinions on related topics. Jared's channel is a lot more than that though, with videos covering EverDrive knockoffs and a number of different reviews that are very insightful, sharing a perspective not often seen. Combine all this together with the 32X he keeps in the background, and it's hard for me not to watch or recommend his videos. Seriously though, Jared and I share a lot of common interest, and I love watching his videos. Be sure to check him out. The Southern Sega Gentleman and Saturn Junkyard Sega related reviews, deep dives, and analysis. Current sub count 925. The Southern Sega Gentleman or SSG is run by Samuel Miles, who happens to split his time between two channels. If you love Sega or more specifically the Saturn, both these channels should be part of your sub box. The SSG's retrospectives are fantastic. There is no doubt about his passion and deep knowledge of the systems and it shows with every episode. All this delivered with an incredibly smooth southern voice, a delivery typically only seen in top tier audiobook voiceover work. Honestly, I've enjoyed everything the SSG has released, but recommend starting with his recent History of Resident Evil 2 video, as I feel that's the perfect introduction. Candy's Classic Game Shrine Reviews and Custom Gaming Crafts Current sub count 741. Not many people have a heart as big as Candy's or care as much about promoting other channels and gaming related happenings as she does. I've found a ton of creators thanks to her Twitter shoutouts, but it's not why she's on this list. Candy is a die hard Virtual Boy fan. If you're curious about a game for the system, don't bother going anywhere else but Candy's channel because she's literally reviewed them all. Beyond this, she's reviewed a number of accessories, non-Virtual Boy games, and has videos covering her custom creations such as the fairly well-known Virtual Girl system. It's a very cool channel that mostly covers the niche on a platform full of copycat ideas. Before I close out, I want to recommend a couple of larger channels that I admire and a couple that didn't quite meet the criteria. Historic Nerd, Jimmy Hoppa, and Wrestling With Gaming are all personal friends of mine, but before they were friends, I was a supporter of their channels. I've met these guys in person and they are amazing individuals with some of the best retro related content on all of YouTube. Larry Bundy and DJ Slopes are two individuals I respect for their work on YouTube and in promoting other creators. They do a lot to make this feel like a community rather than a competition. Space Asylum is a fantastic niche channel that looks at Vita import games. His channel is honestly amazing, but because of its Vita focus, it's hard to get people to give it a shot. The show's creator is a friend of mine, so if you see me in Portland this October, I'll almost certainly be hanging out with Michael. Finally, I want to recommend the artist Mark Flynn. I've been thinking about this list for some time and he was going to be on it. It was only right before putting this together did I have to remove him because his channel has gained traction, putting him well over the 5k mark. He's another great guy with a fantastically unique channel that should appeal to most of my viewers. That's it for now. Hopefully I've introduced you to some channels you've not yet heard of and you'll hop on board as I have with your support. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Your support means the world to me. As always, feel free to leave a positive or negative comment down below. I try to read and reply to everyone and appreciate the opportunity to interact with you all. Until the next episode, to wherever you may be watching, good morning, good evening, and good night. I'm Genovi, and you've been watching Retro Impressions.